Hello, Freya. You can hear me. Good. How you feeling? The drugs from the hospital should be wearing out pretty quick. You know, we have, um, we have some non-hospital food if you're hungry. Don't be afraid. We're here to help you. Where am I? You're upstate New York, just uh, 30 miles outside of a little town called Lincroft. My name is Michael, and I know all about you. I know about the voices, all about them. How they changed when they put you in Brookridge, right? They screamed and mumbled, even laughed at you. I even know things about you you don't know yourself. Would you like to hear one? You're not crazy. Those voices in your head, they're not in your imagination. They come from outside of you. They're real. Look at me. Come on, look at me. No! Freya, Freya, look at me. No one's gonna hurt you. Come on, look at me. The voices in your head are the thoughts of everyone around you, everyone in this room. Come on, Freya, no, no one's gonna hurt you. Look at me. Look at me. Read minds. Freya, you're a telepath. I still don't understand. So you haven't cured me? No. You were never really sick to begin with, just gifted. Joan of Arc, Rasputin, Nostradamus, they all heard voices just like you. If they were just like me, how come they weren't locked up in a mental ward? Because you're more gifted than they were. Hooray for me. I want to see my dad. Your dad? It's been a while, Freya, and uh, I don't think you're ready for the world, and I know the world's not quite ready for you yet. But more importantly, <clears throat> if you were to leave right now, the uh, voices would come back. Can't you just take it away? I got some brain cells or something. No, they can help you turn the corner. They can help you get control of them, but there's no cure. And even if I could cure you, I wouldn't. You're one of a kind. I don't care. I want to go home. Yeah. One challenge at a time. It's called a Kiroscope. Right now, your mind is like an open tent. No one could sneak in. If we were to drop you in a heavily populated area, well, you know what would happen. Brookridge. Uh -huh. Or worse. In Brookridge, you find a way to shut the tent. I'm talking about my books. Right. Your books helped you focus your mind and shut out the voices. Now, you just have to learn how to do the same thing with your minds. But the key, the key, is to do it one mind at a time. All right. mind will only hear what your eyes see, so look at me. Keep them on me. Now. All right, blocks down. One, two, okay. that's it. You're hearing other voices, let them go. Don't give them power. 
concentrate. Come on. Come on, listen only to my thoughts. Focus on my voice. And let all the rest go. Find the silence. Find it. That's it. Okay, come back. Doing great. Very good. Now let's try it again. Circle. Wavy lines. Star. Excellent. Okay, this time I want you to close your eyes. Close my eyes? Mm hmm Why? Let's see. There's nothing you can't do. Look, your eyes select what you're going to read. It's called active telepathy. With your eyes closed, it's passive telepathy. You mean insanity? No, I mean power. With, with passive telepathy, you can read minds whether you see people or not. Look, if you can control the voices with your eyes closed, you can read thoughts behind you, through walls, just about anywhere. What about when I sleep? My eyes are closed then. Do I dream other people's dreams? Or nightmares? See, there you go. That's very creative. I didn't think about that. What else didn't you think about? I don't know. I have to think about it. Why can I only read your thoughts when you want me to? Because then we'd have nothing to talk about and I enjoy our little chats. All right, it's called blocking. Mental discipline I developed over the years, it quiets my thoughts. What are you thinking about right now? You. Circle, square, star, square, wavy line. Well, now you've been reading minds because you want to. How in the world? It's going to be because you have to. It's got to become instinctual. Elizabeth? All right. Elizabeth is going to approach and attack you. Now try and listen for her intentions. But also try and see them. Right? Like you did the note cards. Okay, let's go. All right, hands up. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 come on, come on, come on. Try again, try again, try again. And listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Sometimes we think faster than you can hear. So don't try and just hear what she's going to do. Try and see it. Loosen your control and try and see it. Right? Okay. 